Hey guys, so today we are talking about contouring and it is one of the most highly requested things that I have gotten. I haven't gotten a ton of requests so far, but pretty much everybody has said contouring. So contouring is scary to people, but it really isn't as scary as you might think it is. The purpose of contouring is to add dimension back into your face because after you put on your foundation, you're creating this blank canvas. And so right now I have BB cream and um, foundation on. I used a mixture of that. So right now my face is very flat. It's one dimensional, there's nothing going on. So the purpose of contouring is to put that shadow back into your face to add dimension, to make your face come to life, and it can actually make you look thinner. So I know everybody wants that. So that's what contouring can help do as well. So today I'm going to use a powder contour. I have this NYX blush called Taupe. Um, some people, a lot of people, pretty much everybody, or a lot of folks, use uh, bronzers. Bronzers are fine as long as they aren't like, too red. You don't want to make your face look muddy. What you want to do, like I said before, is mimic those shadows. So what you want to do is look at yourself in the mirror, not in the, anywhere, anywhere where there's some natural lighting, look at where those shadows are in your face and what shade they are. You don't want to create a line essentially on your face that's just bronzer. You want to mimic that shadow. So I'm going to use this powder blush. This is one of my favorites. I love the way that this looks. It's natural looking. Um, and I'm going to use, um, I have a few brushes pull out to show you guys. So first is this Real Techniques contouring brush. I like this one because it's small, so you can really get it into that area of the cheek. I also have this Makeup Geek brush, which is a different shape. It's hope you can see that. Um, that also has a good way of fitting in. This might be better if you're new to contouring because you can very easily just kind of push on where you want the contour to go um, and then you can blend it out from there. I also have this duo fiber contour brush from Real Techniques and this is awesome I think if you're just starting out because duo fiber brushes you don't pick up as much product so you can just take a little bit and build it up instead of just going straight on with a ton of product. So as I said before, you're trying to add dimension to your face. So um, generally, I'll contour right under the cheekbone, a little bit on the jawline, and a little bit on the temple. Um, a lot of people go down the nose. I don't do that because I'm scared to, to be honest with you. Um, and I don't know, I mean, I could probably use it, but I just don't. Um, and I'm going to use that same powder in my crease. I do have a bit of wing liner on right now, but um, I like to do that. Sometimes when I'm wearing a cat eye and a contour is to also put that same powder in my crease because I feel like it just really ties everything together. So when you're contouring, you only want to come down so far. You don't want to bring it all the way down to your mouth. The general rule of thumb is that you want to go from the top of your ear in a line towards the um, end of your mouth. So somewhere around here and you want to go under your cheekbone. So a method that a lot of people use is they'll take their brush and kind of roll it down and feel where that cheekbone ends, you want to go right underneath that cheekbone where that shadow would naturally be and you don't want to take it down too far. So I'm going to start out with uh, my Makeup Geek brush and then probably blend out my contour with another brush as well just to make sure it's nice and blended. You can never blend a contour too much in my opinion. You don't want to look like you have blocks of color on your face. Um, you want it to look natural. That's, you don't want a crazy harsh contour unless you're doing a style of makeup that calls for it, like drag makeup. But for every day, you want something that looks natural. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that powder. Make sure to tap it off. I did um, put on my foundation and then I powdered my skin. If you're using a powder foundation, you wanna make sure that you're powdering your skin because it's gonna make it apply a lot nicer. Um, if you're trying to go, you know, put powder on top of liquid, it just doesn't blend as easily. So put a powder on beforehand. So let's just jump right in. So I like to kind of sculpt it out a little bit first. I've done this a few times, so I, I kind of know, I pretty much know where I want my contour to go. So I'll kind of dab it on like that and then I'll start to wiggle it and blend it back and forth. And then I'll bring it up onto the temple as well. Get close to that hairline. And 
I'm gonna take a little bit under the jaw as well. All right, so now hopefully you can see the difference. So this is the side of my face without any contouring done. And this is the side of my face with it. So you don't want it to be too intense. You can continue to build and blend for as long as you want to a contour that you're comfortable with. This is probably where I am going to stop. And then I'm going to add um, blush and highlighter as well. Um, and then I'm going to put that shade also in my crease. So let's move on to the next side. Stop blabbing. take a little bit of that as well under the eye smoke it out a little bit so next I'm going to use a blush and that is going to add a little bit of color to my cheeks and bring a little bit of life into the face and today I'm going to use Mac's warm soul this is the only Mac blush that I own and I feel like I don't even need to buy another one because this blush is so beautiful. Um, it's very easy for every single day wear, so I'm going to apply that with my Makeup Geek Angled Stippling Brush. I love this brush for blush because it makes it so easy to just take the product, pat off any excess, and then just literally dab it onto your cheeks. It's foolproof. So I'm just going to swirl a little bit of that on there, tap off the excess and then go in on my cheeks. And you want to put that blush just above your contour. Okay, and finally, I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighting. What that's gonna do is add a gorgeous glow to your skin. I love highlighter. Even on days when I'm not contouring and I have a little bit of blush on, I pretty much always highlight. I just love having that glowy, glowy look. So I'm gonna use this um, MAC, what are you? A Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade. This was part of the Haley Williams collection. It is pretty frosty, it's pretty light. So use it definitely a light hand, but it looks really beautiful on tan skin. Um, right now I'm pretty tan because it's the summer obviously but in the fall when I'm pale and in the winter when I'm super pale this comes across a little frosty but now for some reason it's just really it's doing great things so I like to actually use my contour brush for highlighter I use this brush for a lot of different things it's it's really great I think it comes in their little core collection so anyway just swirl a little bit of that on and you want to apply it to the high points of your cheeks but don't take it down too close like up here because you're going to look a little insane with like shiny cheeks so just take it to the high points of your cheeks over here Take a little bit under your brow bone as well. So I hope you guys can see that. It just adds a really subtle glow. It's really pretty. I'm also going to take a little bit of that to the inner corners of my eyes. So I just wiped this off really well. I'm going to take a little bit of that and just kind of brush it into the inner corner of my eye. This is going to open up your eye, make it look a little bit more awake. So to make sure everything's really well blended, I'm going to use this Duo Fiber Brush. Um, Duo Fiber Brushes are awesome for blending things out and applying um, light powdering. Like I said, they don't pick up tons of products, so it's really easy to blend things out um, to make sure you're not going overboard. So I guess I used all three of my contour brushes for different uses, but um, anyway. 
Okay, so I'm going to apply my mascara and my lips and I'll be right back to wrap this video up. All right, so this is the completed look with the contouring. I did my lips and my eyelashes. So I hope you guys found some helpful tips in this video. I just want to stress again that I'm not a trained makeup artist. These are tips that I have picked up by watching YouTube videos myself, by doing a lot of reading, by practicing, and just learning from others. So this is what I've picked up. This is what I have learned. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comment section um, and I'll do my best to answer them or to direct you in the right place so that you can get your answers but I hope that you leave feeling inspired to try something new the worst thing happens is you put it on and you end up saying eh, I don't totally love this but you just have to practice. Nobody is an expert right away. It takes time, especially with something like this where you're using a powder that looks scary. Like this is a little scary looking. Just try it out. Be bold. Do something different. I think you will love the results. So like I said, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Please don't forget to subscribe and visit my blog. I'll type up a little post about this and try to reiterate all the information so that way you can read it as well. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.